Thrive Quiz Builder is our WordPress plugin for building dynamic quizzes and doing some advanced lead generation. And over the last few weeks, we've released several improvements and new features. We've been paying close attention to the feedback and suggestions that we've gotten from our users. And here are some of the changes that we made. The first and perhaps most obvious change is that now there is a new template available so that you can change the design of your quiz. The template is called Minimal and it's designed to fit in with basically any website. Here's an example of what a question looks like with this new template applied. As you can see, it uses subtle drop shadows, but a bold highlight to give the user clear feedback about what's interactable in this quiz. The next feature I want to show you is that you can now add a progress bar to your quiz to give your visitor an indication of how far through the quiz they have gotten. Here's how to do that. In your quiz builder dashboard, when you go into a quiz, you can go and manage your questions. And in the questions overview, you'll see that there's a gear icon up here for quiz settings. And in here, you can activate a progress bar. The reason we put this in its whole own interface is because this is not just a simple progress bar feature. This is a fully customizable progress bar. So you can customize the font size, the colors, and really style this to look the way you want it. Let me just activate this default progress bar right here and show you what it looks like. The progress bar really clearly communicates a sense of progress with dual indicators because as I move through the quiz, it will show me not only how much of the quiz I've already completed and how much is left, but it also shows me an indication of how much further along the progress bar the current question will move me. So especially if you have longer quizzes, this can really help people get through the quiz and give them a sense of progressing towards a goal. Another new feature that comes directly from user suggestions is that now you can choose to redirect people to any URL that you want when they reach the end of the quiz. So what we've had so far is you have results pages where you can have dynamic content that shows different results based on the answers someone chose in the quiz. But now you can also switch that to a URL redirect. And once again, you can manage this. this isn't just a simple redirect, but you can go into an interface and in here you can manage which page someone will be redirected to based on what results they get. In the case of this demo quiz, I have a category quiz with simply two categories, two possible outcomes, either one or two. And for each one, I can choose what happens. And I can either redirect to content on the site where I can enter a search term. And this will show me posts and pages from my site. I'll just choose this one. So if they get result number one, they're sent to this post or I can redirect to an external URL and simply add the URL right here. Further, you can add a redirect message. So you can choose a message to show and a duration of delay before they're sent to this page after they've completed the quiz. And you can even forward the results of the quiz as URL parameters to that next page. So if you want to build any kind of custom integration, you can build an integration that will read those URL parameters and do whatever you want to do with them on that next page. Next up, we've added the option to create video questions. So you've always been able to have text questions or text questions that come with an image. Now you can also have video questions. Here's how. Let's go into our questions manager again and add a new question. And in here we can choose the answer type as usual. And then you can choose between text question or video question up here. If I choose video question, you have all the usual integration options that you're used to from Thrive Architect and other Thrive Themes products. So for example, I add a YouTube URL right here and you can add your video styles just like in Thrive Architect. And then you can also add text and descriptions and everything else you're used to from the usual quiz setup. So we've set this all up. We can save this question. We'll connect it into the flow of our quiz. And here's what it looks like on the front end for the visitor going through the quiz. We have also added further features that allow you to determine if and how a visitor gets feedback as they go through the quiz. So let's first look at this as an example in a right wrong quiz. As a reminder, in this quiz type, every question you ask has one or more right answers and one or more wrong answers. And you can choose to give feedback on that. We can do this in the quiz settings. Now, what usually happened is that you would simply see a right or wrong indicator above the question. 
for a couple of seconds before the user is moved on to the next question. Now you have far more choices here. So either you can move people directly to the next question and only reveal what was right or wrong at the very end. You can highlight the correct answer and here you can choose if you want to show this for 10 seconds or 2 seconds or 20 seconds or whatever you want before they're automatically moved to the next question. Or you can highlight the right answer until the visitor clicks a button. So in this case, we have a next question button and the highlighted right and wrong will stay visible until the user manually moves on to the next question. An additional option here is to highlight and provide an answer and feedback. And this is something that will affect how you build the quizzes. More on that in a second. Before we move on, I also want to show you how this affects other types of quizzes, not only the right wrong quiz type. So here we're back in my category quiz. And here the default setting is not to display any feedback, but you can also choose to display feedback for 10 seconds or until the user presses the next button. Now in this case, it's only feedback. That is equivalent to the third option we looked at before, because in this quiz type, there is no right and wrong, but you can still choose to provide feedback. And here's what that looks like. If I have chosen one of the options that provides feedback, this will change what I see in the questions manager. So let's go back in. Now, if I edit a question, you'll see that there is a feedback field added to each answer. And here's where I enter the feedback. That's whatever text I want to show whenever the user clicks on this answer. Here's an example of what that looks like for the visitor on the front end. The next change we've made also based on user feedback is that you can now add an option at the end of the quiz to let a visitor restart the quiz they just did without having to refresh the page or anything like that. Now this is implemented as a dynamic link, which is another feature that we've relatively recently added to Thrive Architect. So let me show you how to implement this. Let's go back into our demo quiz and I'll change this back to a results page because obviously if you want to show an option to restart the quiz, you can't be sending people away from the quiz. So we want a results page. Let's go in and manage our results page. And right now I'm just showing this simple success message. And here's what I could do if I want to add an option to restart that quiz. I can add a button or a link. It can just be a text link. In my case, I'll use a button. Let me add a branded style to this. And now it's a question of adding the correct link to this button. Now, how do we do this? Well, we've added the option of not just having static links or jump links on the page, but also having dynamic links. The dynamic link option will show you different options depending on context. But here, as you can see, basically, as soon as I choose this, it recognizes the context and gives me what I want. Restart quiz, I click insert to make that happen. And when I save my changes, now this is what will be shown on the results page. And anyone who clicks that link will simply be sent back to the first question. And then one final improvement I want to show you, you can now pass further details of a completed quiz through the notification manager. Did you know that we have a notification manager? It is one of the more advanced features in the Thrive Themes suite, and you can find it in the Thrive dashboard. It's right down here, notification manager. And whenever you set up a notification, you can basically say, if someone completes a quiz, then send a notification to a specific email address or something like that. And we've now added the option to send more data about that quiz and about the quiz details through the notification manager to wherever you want that to be sent. I won't go into great detail about this here. Like I said, it's more of an advanced feature, but check links below for more information about everything related to the notification manager. And that's it for this quick tour through what's new in Thrive Quiz Builder. Thank you very much for all the feedback and suggestions that have helped us make this an even better product for you. Let us know what you think of these updates. And of course, if you have even more suggestions and feedback, please let us know by leaving a comment below.